Okay, what I've got here is uh, I've got my Hack RF and I've modded it with the, the Potter Pack H2, which is basically uh, you makes the Hack RF standalone, you don't need a PC with it. It's got a little touch display, a little screen, and uh, it frees you from cables and being powered by a PC, which is quite handy. And this Mayhem firmware you can update it with, it's got a lot of useful apps in it. It does quite a lot of things. Um, but what I've done is I've put the uh, a loop antenna on it, but near field, near field, near field antenna on it, which makes it uh, designed to like find interference, and you can home in the source, or you can find bugs with it, which is quite good and useful, really. And so here's my little hacker ref. Uh, with my loop antenna. This is just like a little FM transmitter which you just can use for a test. Yeah. Uh, as you can see I've just put it on my HackRF and that's a little touch screen and stuff like that. Uh, obviously I know I know the frequency off my FM transmitter so I've set it up like that. It's a bit, bit awkward trying to get, get this on video and so I've tried done it like that. Hopefully we can do a little test. Right, so obviously you'll see when I power it on. You can see it picks it up, the signal from it. Whoops, but it's quite quite faint, but it can still pick it up because it's not it's not that far away from it really, to be honest with you. But the idea is, that obviously, if I move it closer, you can tell the signal gets way way stronger. Yeah, I move it away. So we move it forward. Ideally, you'd be moving the hacker ref, not the not the thing, the transmitter. But because I want to try and video the screen, it's the only way I can really capture it. Really doing it this way. Yeah. So you can you can tell when you're right close to it. Yeah. And obviously the same way in the other direction. You can tell when it's you know right over it. Yeah. Yeah. So there we go, and obviously uh, the idea would be would be you know to scan scan yourself like this, yeah, at different frequencies and stuff like that to find any you know implants or anything, yeah. Okay. Now the thing with it is not only is it will find signals of uh, the hacker f does from like one megahertz to six gigahertz but it also you can use it as a uh, form of uh, i'm trying to think of the word now um uh, to get rid of stuff so you think you might have this you scan it you're not picking up any frequencies you know what i mean a uh, process of elimination yeah so you can go through different frequencies because uh, a lot of people are putting information out there saying you know it's y band and all this kind of stuff a lot of these things have got known frequencies known protocols so it's quite easy to check for this stuff and this is what a lot of people aren't doing they buy into the idea but they're not checking it they're not doing any tests to verify it something like this is quite good yeah to do do, do tests covers quite a lot of range of frequencies a lot of things you can you can actually test your ideas and beliefs about targeting with something like this and you can either, you know, process of elimination, dismiss bad ideas that are clearly not happening, and then focus on stuff, home in and stuff that is, is happening. Okay. Hope that was helpful anyway. Okay, thank you.